Hi guys, today I'd like to share with you the book House Witch, Your Complete Guide to Creating a Magical Space with Rituals and Spells for Hearth and Home by Erin Murphy Hiscock. This is a new book, but it does have excerpts from a previous book she has had published called The Way of the Hedge Witch. If you have that book, you will notice similarities because some of that information is in this book. This is a new book published by Adams Publishing. It's hardback and it's textured on the cover. Can you see? I like that. I think it's really cool when they do that. Focus. There you go. And then this is the back of the book. I like the burgundy and the green and the cream. It's just... It, it goes together really well. And the inside flap is divine. Here on the inside flap, it tells you that it does contain material adapted from the Way of the Hedge Witch. So, I was right. I was making sure. And this is copyright 2018. There's your contents page. Now I'm going to pan down it. And the final page of contents. Let's just thumb through from the back because that's how I do. Let's see what we can see. I'm going to pan back. Clean and bright oil. Purifying powder. Creating your sacred space. Personal purifications. Doorstep cleaning. That's the spells and rituals. Creating a magic creating magical figures and symbols. Honoring the seasons. I had to make a corn husk doll with my daughter when she was in second grade. It's a lot harder than it looks, but we did it. It wasn't that pretty. But we did it. Spell bottle variations. Spoken magic. Herbal sleep pillows. Spell bottles. Sprinkling powders. There's a little bit of everything in here. Potpourri soap. Potpourri. Let's keep going. I think I'm seeing recipes. Yep, beef stew. Different recipes. Spirituality of food. Traditional kitchen tools. There's a lot of kitchen stuff in here. I'm not really a kitchen witch type magic at the hearth, but this might help me along my way. Sage and herb smudging. Purifying and cleansing your home. Stones for protection. You know, I think it'll be a good reference book. But it's not a lot of what I haven't already seen in different books. But I do like that it is a hardbound book. Evaluate your home's energy. Create your own lamp. Lamps and sacred flames in the kitchen. I mean, there is some different stuff that I haven't seen. 
she's basically taking almost anything you can do around your home and turning it into magical, you know, into something magical. And that's really cool. And that's different little um, deities or not deities, little <clears throat> people that come to your house. I was looking at that, and this is the deities, Vesta, Virgin, Hesta. Uses for your cauldron. I like the little history part here about the cauldron. Sacred spaces. Your home is a sacred space. That's an awesome idea. The power of basic needs. Think about your values. Define your values. Well, that's not necessarily magic related, but we all need to do that in these days. Getting close to the end. Everyday things can be magical. So this is what she's done. My, I'm assuming I haven't read it yet. If she's taking things that you do around your home, your house, your kitchen, and she's turning it magical. And I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. This looks like this will be a pretty good book. There is a lot of, you know, repeat information, but there's so much information out there. And it's a nice hardbound book from Adams Publishing. I bought it for about, I think, $12 maybe on Amazon USA. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Bye for now.